Good morning, and we are back today with a little bit of a different video, in all honesty, but very highly requested. I always put out on my Instagram, like, what do people want to see? Training, nutrition, everyone's like, how's the back? So I'm like, right, do you know what? I've been here a few months now, so I'm in a position where I'm like, I can kind of run through what it's like. Yes, I'm not the biggest wizard on the buy, but definitely been here long enough to kind of put a video together about it. And all the reasons on like why I've come here personally, the pros, the cons. If you are looking to relocate, I know there's quite a few online coaches back at the UK who it would definitely be a goal of theirs to get out here. So I want to run through, you know, everything to expect. Also, I've met quite a lot of people out here who have actually just moved out here, found a job, and then just transitioned into routine here. So I can kind of run you through that sort of things as well. So the whole purpose of this video is for anybody that wants to know anything else about Dubai. You might not already know. So first thing for me, a big thing about Dubai is my routine every single morning and evening is get out, do some steps. I'm a very active person. I'll do like 10, 20K steps every single day. So when you're in a city in general, the ease to get all your steps in and just walk out your door, get them done, boxed off is so easy. Whereas back home in the UK where I'm from, literally the middle of nowhere. So in summer, it's easy. You're just straight out into fields, but in the winter when it's dark at four o'clock, it's not light till eight o'clock, it's raining, it's windy, there's no street lamps. It's not really the most ideal place to just get out and get your steps in if you're out for a couple of hours. So one of the biggest things I'm enjoying about being here is just how active you can be. I think in a city in general, you are just a lot more active because everything's closer. So you'd always walk it rather than drive it at home. Everywhere I go would just be a drive. Also, it helps when you never need to wear a hoodie or look outside to decide, you know what, can I be asked doing steps? Because you've got no excuse here when day or night it's 30 degrees plus and it's never raining. Now, the second thing. The UK defo needs to learn on this factor. Obviously it can't control the weather, but this place is so safe and so clean all the time. It just removes all these micro stresses out the back of your head. You're never walking around thinking, am I gonna get mugged? Is that gonna get stolen? Why are they giving me a funny look? You never seen graffiti and rubbish on the streets. You will never see a piece of litter here. Like, if you go into any toilet, any gym, any public place, there is cleaners cleaning up after you instantly, as soon as you've been in there, all the time. If you're walking down the streets, it's the exact same thing. So that is just really refreshing, in my opinion, just to have somewhere so clean and so luxury all the time. Then when it comes to safety, there is security all over the place, but not it doesn't seem like in an aggressive way. It's just like a, a prevention method like no matter what time of the day three in the morning 12 in the afternoon you're as safe as it gets like you couldn't be safer i honestly don't think there's anywhere safer in the world than here the third thing about dubai is you are never not surrounded by success wherever you look you've got yachts you've got super yachts you've got cars You've got unreal property. You've got people walking around wearing 20,000 pounds worth of clothes, 200K watches. Now, that sounds so materialistic, but it's not about the material. What it does is it shows you how much money there is out there to be earned and to actually go get success. So when you are working, I find I am so much more motivated, so much more focused and it makes me want to work. It's not a place where you come and you feel like you have to be holidaying, in my opinion. Like, it's great traveling with work and being an online coach, but there's a lot of places in the world where you could go, but it's almost just too much distraction. You're like, you'd rather be out doing the chill stuff by the pool, whatever. Here, I am here and I am like so motivated to work. The only thing I want to do out here is work. And that is just because of the environment that, that you're in. So that's a big thing. I think it actually makes me 50 times less materialistic as well. Like for me, my values have always been 
with business. It's about freedom, being able to work from where I want and travel and then reinvest it back in to get better results and literally just build a better lifestyle to, to inspire people. So when you're here, I think it just reinforces that. Like there are so many Lambos, like a Lambo out here is a Corsa back in the UK and it just desensitizes you from it. You realize there's so much money, but there's nothing special about it. You see a supercar back in the UK and everyone turns ahead and you know, it gives the driver a big ego here. There's none of that. Like no one has a huge ego because there's so many successful people. So that's why it's such a positive place and everyone's so willing to help you as well. Like there's no competition back in England. Everyone thinks they're in competition with everyone. There's ego, there's bitterness here, you know, there's great people and they're all willing to help you get to the top. They know here it's, it's not like a bucket and everyone's pulling from a bucket, stealing each other's stuff. It's a river of like success. Everyone's like just getting the river and like everyone wants you to do so well, which is so good. Being around a positive vibe all the time, being around successful people all the time that actually want you to be, you know, at the top with them. So that's quite refreshing. As soon as you land back in the UK, it just sinks. There's just a negative vibe, I find. So tying into the fact that you are in such a successful place, you're around a positive vibe and all these people. Now you can actually network with these people, which is the next thing. So the networking opportunity out here is like unbelievable. Like since I've been here, some of the big, big contacts and networks that I've kind of been able to get into can genuinely change your life just from being here that you wouldn't have had if you weren't here. Now, obviously you've got to work to the point to, to be here and get where you are in your career but then actually just physically bringing yourself over here getting in these network circles learning new things learning new skills just allows you to take your life and business to that next level so for me in my circumstances whether it's getting in conversations with other online coaches you know who have been further ahead in the process and now they've scaled and they've got team teams of 100 people and it's like look We've had these issues you're facing now, Tom, where you can't keep up with demand. This is how you need to go about it. It could be financial advice when you start earning X amount, what you want to be doing with that money to give you maximum benefit in the future and potentially earn more money with that money. It could just be opportunity for new jobs, new side hustles. So new business opportunities, new businesses to start with other like-minded people that I find I struggle to meet back in the UK as much. So just being here, I'm around a lot more people which I personally relate with. Uh, that, you know, I do, I honestly do struggle with that. I never lie about that. Back in the UK, there's a lot of people that I get on with, a lot of people I like. But in terms of like, that I can have a conversation with about business and actually fully relates with me. As soon as you come over here, you're surrounded by that. Because I am a big believer on you can go far alone and you can grow a great business on your own being around others will allow you to push that and excel that and then if you want to take those next steps i think you need a team and since i've been here i've now got a good team around me of like-minded lads which i know is going to push me to the to the top and where i want to get just by having that extra accountability that extra insight and look onto my situation which will change everything we are back from the walk about 8 30 in the morning and it's boiling which ties into the next benefit the weather i am a slag for sun i hate rain i don't mind snow if i'm like planning on snow i.e i'm going to alps or something but I'm a slag for the sun and it's always sunny here. The worst day here will be like 28 degrees, bit overcast, but you've never got a cold chill ever. Like I've not ever worn a hoodie here, which is unreal. So when you are outside, it's refreshing. Also, my apartment is just glass surround. So when I'm working, if I'm in the UK working on my laptop, 
14 hours a day, looking outside at the rain, that is so depressing. Whereas when I'm in here and I'm looking out and I've either got the sun and the water, the water is a big thing for me. Obviously got views of the beach and the marina, which is a game changer. So a combination of water in the view, sun in the view, is just so mentally refreshing. And it just means that I enjoy life more without even thinking about it. Like when the sun's out, if I think if the sun's out and you're in a bad mood, you've fucking got to sort your priorities out because like the sun's out. Like obviously unless something horrendous has just happened. Like if you're one of those people that's walking around in the sun in a bad mood, like sort your life out. Like, you know, just be more grateful would be my point. So I am very grateful for the simple things, the steps, the weather, a good view. And that, that's what it's all about. It's not that you, you, know, you need to be here to do all this amazing stuff that people talk about. I'm here to sit in an office in my apartment, but just be more grateful of my surroundings. Now, next month, my plans, to be fair, are to actually travel a little bit. So from the 1st of June, I booked in a couple of months in my diary. I've got a few weeks back in the UK, um, putting on a little event for the Flip Physiques team, which will be cool, get to meet everyone, a bit of a live event. Big gym session, meal out, night out, full send. Be good to meet all the lads and the girls. And it's my cousin's wedding as well. So I'm back in the UK for that, which is cool. But around that, I've got a couple of months where I'm gonna travel, I'm not sure where yet. Um, Marbella is potentially on the cards. Ibiza for a little bit, um, but most likely old side. And stuff like Bali, Indonesia, I've been there before and I loved it, so tempted to go back. But the good thing with Dubai is you're in the middle. So if you wanna go the Australia, the Indonesia side, I'm halfway there, it's not the end of the world. And if I wanna go back to Europe, it's still only like five hours which is really good. So, one more month here, couple of months away, and it just makes travel so much easier, which is another benefit. Now, the thing everyone talks about when it comes to Dubai, the tax. Obviously, that is a huge, huge benefit to being here. My um, company, Flip Physiques, is currently in the process of being set up, so bank accounts shifted over, business set up out here. Uh, which means that you're going to save a lot of money. I think back in the UK, I've got to pay like a prox 50% tax, 20% VAT, the same for cooperation tax. You get absolutely rinsed in the UK for building a good business. And my business is only increasing in demand. And I've got a couple of other little things um, which kind of it's not the same business, but the kind of it's the same niche working with the same people. Um, so for me, it makes makes sense to be out here. Like as the business is growing, why get absolutely arse raped by HMRC um, when I could be here and that extra money that I'm now not giving away, I can actually reinvest it back into the business to make the business better and then grow the business even more. That's how I see it. It's not about, oh, I want to save X amount of money so now I can go and get whatever. It's, it's more about money in business is key. Like money means that you can make your service better for the clients that you've got. And it also means that you can service more people. So for me, being here just gives me the opportunity to, yes, be around all this great network, be in a place that I love, but I can save more money to then reinvest back into the business. And when it comes to growing a business, for any online coaches out there, or any business owners out there, you need to be doing everything you can to reinvest as much back into your business to make it the best service or the best product as possible. Now, with all of these positives, there are way more, but I just wanna keep it simple to the point and more about what I actually benefit from being here. You know, there'll be different benefits for everybody, but with me running an online business, I'm wanting to build that business, also work on my physique, I just want to be here to make my life easier, have more money to reinvest back into my business, be around a network of people which is motivating and inspiring, and it allows me to be more focused. That is essentially why I'm here. It means that my business improves, it means that my physique improves, 
and what what more do I actually want but it does come with a bit of a cost or with some downsides obviously you are in a city you are in Dubai one of the biggest cities in the world things are going to be more expensive so you are paying city price property which I don't think it's too different to London and I prefer the property here than London. I have looked at London before, obviously I like the idea of coming to a city just from that network and that vibe point of view, but I wanted the weather. And for me, you just get more of a modern property in Dubai than I would back in London for the same price. However, it does come at a price, I'd say, depending on the area, Marina, JBI, you're looking at probably three grand upwards a month. Um, on rent if you're going that maybe like downtown or JVC Dubai Hills yes you can get slightly cheaper places it all depends on the quality of the place that you want how big it is and the area you're in but yes you're going to spend more than a local town back in the UK that's just for granted price of living as well very similar you know something like as simple as a monster energy drink something i have pre-workout every single day you're paying five pound for it back at home it's a pound so it's minor but these things if you're spending five times more on your food your drink it adds up you know that can soon go from i don't know a grand a month to 4k a month on just the simple things if you're not careful and selective with where you get and you know you don't want to let stuff get out of hand because you can just simply just spew money away. Another thing, depending on your personality, because I've seen this a lot out here, if you are easily influenced, you could very easily go in the wrong direction in Dubai and actually not end up getting where you want in life. And I would say it's one of those things, you know people say money will exaggerate your values and, and how you are as a person. Dubai kind of does the same thing. So if deep down you're a bit of a partier and you're easily influenced, out here there is so much opportunity, right? And all that will happen is you will follow your actual values and like the true you comes out. So if you really come here to graft and to build a business and to build your physique or whatever, all of a sudden you're surrounded by more people who are building the physique, building the business. You are gonna become a better, more amplified version of that just because who you're around. But if you're not careful, you could very easily come here thinking you're here for business, but deep down you know you're a bit of a partier and you could be on a yacht party every night, chasing clout about because you know it's so easy. You can get on a yacht, big names, and it's one of those a lot of people follow all that and you can get in all these situations where for social media it looks like you're the big time you're doing amazing is it actually taking you anywhere forward in life no and you can follow those situations on a daily basis and end up not getting where you want spending a lot of money and just getting drunk which for me is a complete opposite value to kind of what i share so you know, if you're not careful, that can happen. So if you do come here, make sure you're very clear on what your values are, make sure you're very clear on what your mission is, and you're surrounding yourself with the right people, the right circle, which is actually right for you. Because there is so much opportunity, and that is a benefit. But too much opportunity in all these different areas, if you're just a yes man or a yes girl, and you're like, oh, that sounds amazing, and you're just a reactive person, and you just, dart to wherever there's opportunity you'll get so off track so fast because there is just so much going on and just like anywhere in the world obviously got to finish as a downside you're not around your family unless they live in Dubai um, so that is just the thing with me being an online coach since I decided that I will live abroad full-time move the business to Dubai and then travel from here I'm obviously not going to be able to spend as much time with my family so Sometimes in life you've just got to do those big moves which you know is going to take you in the right direction but obviously you've just got to stay in close contact with your family and then when you are with them just spending really valuable time so hence why I've got a holiday booked with my parents um, in the summer 
and obviously we've got the wedding and just being just basically making sure that when you are then seeing them you're getting the most out of it um because you're not going to spend as much time with them so just staying in contact with them uh if anything it can make you closer to them um because you value it even more um but yeah that is obviously a downside you're not around all these people that you know back in the uk all the time so you've just got to kind of cherish that value that even more so that is my thoughts on dubai short and sweet i didn't want to make this too long i literally just wanted to get to the point on this is my thoughts so far i've only been here a couple of months but why have i come you know what have i learned what have i seen what have i witnessed so for any of you that are wanting to come out potentially make that move these are things that you all definitely need to take into account if you're running a business i would say it's great but make sure you're surrounding yourselves with the like-minded focused people if you are just coming over here because you want that opportunity to be in the sun and you want to just simply get a job over here it's not business focused and you just want to enjoy the life where you're obviously surrounding yourself with you know a great lifestyle so it is good for balance you've got the best of both here you can build a huge business you're surrounded by wealth by network good weather but then when you do want that downtime and you do want that lifestyle balance you've got everything here that you could possibly imagine for spending your downtime so I think you actually, if you, if you do it right, you improve your business, but because you also then have a better downtime, you're more focused when you're back in your business. So I hope you enjoyed the video guys anyway. There's gonna be a lot more coming. Make sure you like, make sure you subscribe, and I'll speak to you soon.